Hello hey guys. guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. Thanks for spending some time with us today, clicking on the video, we appreciate it. Yeah. Today, well, every so often we make a video like this because we feel like these are gonna be good videos for us to have in the future and for now um, to look back at how we were thinking and feeling when we were kind of new-ish to a brand new culture and a brand new country. I don't even know if we can say we're new now. I mean, it's been like two years. George. I know, but I don't know where you're going with it. When we're 50 years old, <laughs> to look back and say we were a couple of years like. So weird that we're going to be able to look back at videos when we're 50. From right. Everything. You're, you're right. You're exactly. Right. And these are things that we may have spoken about in vlogs over the span of, I don't know, a year or something. But every so often we like to make a video like this, sit down and put it all in one place. And yes. you guys seem to enjoy this type of video. You've requested more of them. So here we are today. Yeah, today is talking through, how many do we have? I think it's seven, yes, seven, seven. things that are more expensive in the Philippines versus the UK. Yes, not cheaper, more expensive, which- <laughs> Oh, I just no, said because that. I think this is going to surprise people. Mm. Because when we tell our friends back home we're spending time in the Philippines, they're like, oh, cool. So is it cheap out there? Like Asia? Well, I heard that Asia is pretty cheap. Yeah, Food, true. housing, rent, I don't know, stuff. Like that. And we're like, okay, some things are, mm. but other things are not. So we yeah. wanted to like flip this stereotype, I guess, on its head. True. And also comment below if you are interested in seeing the things that are cheaper here versus the UK, because we can do that as well if you guys yes. are interested. And if you are new around here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button because that really helps us out and we'd love to have you on the channel. Absolutely, more than 50% of you guys who watch regularly are not subscribed. It takes one second, it really yeah. helps us out, helps us grow the channel, helps us being able to sustain making videos. Um, so, should we jump right yeah, in? Yeah, let's number do it. One. I've written a little list on my phone. So, number one is very exciting, bills. Yes, now this is probably the one that would surprise our friends back home the most. Yeah. I mean, we're not talking water bills. Water bills are fairly cheap here. And okay, so let's just give some background if you're new here. We're in BGC in Manila right now, just to give you context on where we're going to get things and where we live in terms of bills and prices. Yep. So we can only speak for where we are. Exactly. We're not speaking for the entire country of the Philippines. This is our um, own personal experience. Yeah. We currently rent a one bedroom apartment in BGC. Yes. We've actually purchased our own condo, um, another one bedroom place down the road, which we will be moving to soon. Yeah. But for now, we're here, we're renting. So water's fairly cheap, but the most expensive thing that surprises us are both internet and electricity. Electricity is pricey. And I don't know if it's because we have air conditioning units here that we don't have in England. And for us, I mean, we put it off to film the video and I'm already boiling hot. Might need gets, to switch it back on. Yeah, it gets so hot here. If we don't have the aircon on, we sleep with the aircon on. Um, and what else? Like maybe we have other things that we use more. Well, I think because of 2020, we were here so much. Yeah, true. Our, we were using a lot more electricity. Our bills increased. Yeah, our bills are usually between like six and 10,000 pesos a month. So if we take the average, if we take 8,000 in pounds, that's about 125 pounds per month, which is a lot. It is, whereas in the UK, our electricity bill is probably around 50 pounds a month. 50, yeah, I'd say. So it's more than double for our mm -hmm. electricity bill here. Yeah. The other one that Lucy just mentioned is internet. Internet is pricey here. But we do have the top internet because of what we do. We need fast internet speeds. So if we film a vlog, we want to upload it there and then we can rely on that and not have to wait for it to like upload overnight or something. Which we didn't have in the UK. Yeah. Internet speeds in general in the UK, you can get fast packages, the prices do go up, but they're less common and they're less readily available. My mum and dad told me their internet speed the other day. I got them to run a speed test because I was just curious and it was really low, really, really How, slow. What was it, like five? Five, five meg. Yeah, um, ours is like 50 to 100. So if I keep itching my arm, by the way, I've got two huge mosquito bites and they're really itchy. Philippines so. life. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> One thing that's definitely more expensive here or that I spend more money on is mosquito <laughs> repellent. Not that it works. <laughs> Number two, furniture. Furniture, yeah. This surprised us. And again, I'm not sure if it's because we're in BGC, maybe. And I know there's probably cheaper options elsewhere, but we've we found that there aren't really many places where you can go and get good quality, good looking furniture for a cheaper price. I mean, I don't know where, I, I feel like in England there's places that have, maybe not necessarily well, the best quality, but they look good quality and cheap. In England, we have The Range, yeah. a really cool furniture store, which probably isn't the best quality, but it is cheap and yeah. it looks fairly good. We also have Ikea. Ikea, and which I know, is coming. I know it's coming to the yeah. Philippines. Um, but we're talking, even in shopping malls here, you would think that shopping malls would have some 
cheaper options for furniture and there are cheaper options but they're still not that cheap yeah even like sm home or our home it's still it's not cheap and it's not you, like it's not like you can spend 20 pounds and get a table like right. here in ikea we'd have that huge coffee table that's 20 that was, pounds no, that's 14 pounds 14 it's like we had a really nice crazy. solid wood white coffee table in ikea 14 pounds then you get the really expensive stuff here so you get stores like crate and barrel pottery um, barn pottery barn you get all these west elm i suppose they're more american style stores they're so expensive expensive like I sometimes I so look nice. in there and I'll go George let's just have a little look and I go up to the label and I look at the price tag and I'm like oh yeah, let's, let's put this back and go away. somewhere let's else go. <laughs> um, okay, that's fine. Yeah. and I guess there are that there is that in England as well but I feel like most places here are expensive with very few cheap options and um, so it's definitely something that we found when we furnished this place or I mean this place we've got here came half furnished but we've changed quite a lot and we found that it cost a lot more than we were expecting it. For example, this coffee table that we're filming on right now, we're using it as a bit of a stand. This, this in the UK, you might get for like 30 or 40 pounds. No, I maybe think you've been 60, out the UK. Yeah, maybe like 50 or 60. 50 or 60 pounds? Yeah. This here was about 200 pounds, right? 250 pounds. 250 pounds. Yeah, and it's not even high Too quality. Expensive. It's, it's not even solid wood. It's got like a lino thing we've over it. We've ruined it. It's all scratched. Yeah. Oh well. Number three is cars. Now you yes. can get cars here that are reasonably ish priced when they're more local locally made um or like in places closer but when you go for things that are actually imported so yeah you get a lot of a lot of common brands here you see toyota uh nissan what, do you, what else do you see in the philippines a lot ford yeah you see a lot of the same brands of cars here possibly less of the higher end car brands you do still see them and there still are payment plans available and stuff but the actual price of a car is more expensive in the philippines yeah. than the uk and especially the used car market. When I was yeah. really in the lockdown last year, I was looking at cars so much and even looking at cars for sale in the Philippines, particularly high-end supercars. I was mm -hmm. just curious and browsing. I follow some guys who have some supercars in Manila and the prices that they sell for are almost double what you triple. would spend in the UK. Like it's crazy. You just take the exact same car and purely because it's been imported, it's more expensive here. It's I like identical. I believe there's a luxury goods, goods tax yeah. and the cars obviously fall under that. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that is surprising. We didn't know that before we came here. Cars are very, very expensive in the Philippines. Number four leads on from that is just luxury goods in general. Uh, there's a lot of things here that because of the luxury import tax, you're gonna be paying double, triple the price for something that you would get um, for a lot less money in the UK purely because of the import tax. I guess that would include things like watches and designer jewelry, designer brands in general that aren't made here. Um, so things from Europe, for example, or from the US or from Australia. And again, this leads nicely into number five, which is imported goods. For example, my one example <laughs> I always use, which is a cauliflower that I saw for, was it 900 pesos from yeah, Australia? For one for a cauliflower. cauliflower. It's crazy. I didn't buy it. Don't worry. I would <laughs> never, ever spend that. Uh, and Imagine if you did buy it, you'd have to do something really special with that, make a whole Imagine meal out of it. Imagine if you burnt it or something, oh. It'd be awful. But yeah, some you can obviously get cheap fruits and vegetables here from markets and from places with local farms and things like that. But when you start looking at getting strawberries from California- Or grapes. Or, yeah, or e even or anything imported, like some nuts, some milk, some uh, porridge oats. And if you start right. looking at imported stuff, you need to, you can't basically go to a supermarket here and just grab everything you want knowing you'll know the rough price because things are either super cheap or crazily expensive. So you really have to check prices. And if there's no label, I always, always, always go and scan it at one of the, self-checking things in the supermarkets, yeah. just to be sure. Whereas in the UK, you don't have to do that. We would just kind of go around the, sh we'd look at prices a little bit, but you yeah. would you would generally know if you're just buying fruit and vegetables. It's gonna be like it, one, two or three You pounds. don't even check the price, just put it in your basket yeah. and carry on. Yeah. Um, and actually we've been caught out, because I still do that here sometimes, and we've been caught out at the checkout. Yeah, like the avocados that you bought. I was yes. so angry. You paid like 400 pesos for an avocado once, and you were like, oh, I thought it was fine. But usually you pay- I didn't really pay attention. No. You just paid for it. <laughs> yeah. and it they was were way good too... though. They was worth it probably. It was not worth it. One avocado for six I've just, pounds. I've just thought of something what? that isn't even on this list or even part of the video. Okay. Oatly milk. Yeah. Oat milk. It's Barista, crazy. oh my. It's almost six pounds. For almost one, six pounds one for one carton. carton. Someone sent me a DM on Instagram the other day, Sainsbury's, one pound 50 for a carton. That hurts my heart. And we're paying nearly six pounds per carton That hurts for that. my feelings. But it. We enjoy that coffee. We enjoy that morning I know, coffee. I can't. I it's can't, fine. George. It's fine. Are you kidding? One pound fifty. Right. Next time we go to England, we are filling us. Oh no, you probably can't even bring it back, can you? In bulk, because <laughs> that's probably not allowed. But that is kind of 
heartbreaking. Next up, we've got tech. In general, t we're vloggers, so we pay for a lot of things like cameras and leads and cables. Yes, you can get some cheap things, but the bigger brands like uh, Sony, Panasonic, Canon, and like the real camera brands, and that we use are, I would say, more expensive. If you if you did a direct yeah, price comparison like, yeah. for a shop here and a shop in England, th for some reason it seems to be a bit cheaper in England. I mean, places like Singapore and where else is good for tech? I feel like we've been to Singapore was good. We bought a GoPro in Singapore yeah. and there was a huge discount. But it was because of the you could go to the airport and let them take the tax amount. That off. was it. There's yeah. something like that. Yeah. The other thing in the UK, there's often these. 0% finance deal so mm -hmm. you can spread payments of high ticket items True. over months and not pay any interest so yeah. that's fairly I don't know it's good for cash flow and stuff yeah. like that here you might be able to do that with some things Maybe. we haven't really looked haven't needed to look into it too but, much I mean the actual price of things I think in general for some reason is just slightly more expensive here than in England um so yeah sometimes we'll just suck it up and pay a bit more or we'll wait until we're in England to buy tech stuff sometimes. That's why if you see us in UK going in the UK vlog, sometimes we wait and we'll go to our favourite little camera shop, Park Cameras, yeah. um, near where we live in the UK and yeah, we'll most most there. of the UK vlogs when we were going back yeah. more regularly pre-Covid, um, you would see us going in there and buying yeah. some camera but gear. But we do just love it there, we think the staff are lovely and yeah. stuff. So and we just... Japan was good as well. Japan, that was because who I was Because we bought of, a yeah. camera look we bought a camera lens in Japan, didn't mm -hmm, we? Mm -hmm. And we got a good discount on that as well. They were managed. Yeah. They managed to knock a lot of the price down. I don't know why. Maybe it's just where it's you can't are negotiate. They made in Japan? I don't know. Yeah, it was. Yeah, That's you why. can't negotiate for tech here. We have tried. Yeah, because I mean, <laughs> true. And in England, you do a lot of price matching. So if you go into Jessup's, which is a common camera yeah. store, you'd say, "Oh, on Amazon, it says it's this much," and they go, oh, "Okay, yeah, we can do that." Or no, but they here, can't. like they won't match Lazada. No. Um, yeah, it seems very fixed pricing here. Yeah. And the final one is kind of random. It's water. So it's not actual bottles of water. I mean, in England, if you didn't want to get mineral bottled water, you could have free water. You won't have That's to pay true. for water. You I mean, can you'd drink out of the tap. You'd pay your electricity bill, but I mean, like, for tap water, you could just literally fill your water bottle up with tap water and drink straight from the tap. Here. I could not imagine doing that. We now. couldn't do it. I mean, you, you can buy a filter system. I that... think in BGC you might be able to, but I've never tried it. People have told us that, but we don't really want to risk it. We're, not, we're not sure if our systems would yeah, be used to it. True. If, you, if you're like born here and you're used to it, maybe your body's like accepting it more. Yeah. But for us, I feel like it might just make us ill. I don't know. But yeah, it, you have to pay for your water here, obviously. So every time we need water or just tap water, no, mm -hmm. bottled water um, to put into our water bottles, we have to go to 7-Eleven, buy a big bottle. Uh, I think in the new place we'll get a filter put totally. in because it'll be a lot easier. But it's something that you don't have to think about in England. You just have access to this water just without even Constantly. thinking about it. And it's cold because it's yeah, a cold country. True. All the pipes are cold. And in where we live, near the South Downs, it's nice and chalky. So you'll hold up this glass of water and it'll be a bit misty bit and hazy. white. Bit yeah. hazy, yeah. So that weird. might be weird for some other people who've never been there. We should we should film tasting tap water again for the first time. It'll be like yeah, two years by the time we're back probably. So we'll literally be drinking. And That'd be so and weird. And we'll have to vlog the first taste. I bet it'll taste so different. Yeah. So different, okay. All right, guys, that is seven or eight things that That's is so more... That's so unsatisfying. Exp I can't remember because I think we had it. I few. think it was seven. Seven. But maybe with one extra. Seven things with one extra that are more expensive in the Philippines than the UK. And most of these surprised us when we first found out. Let us let's know if you're expecting these. Let us know if there's anything you think we've missed. Yeah, we know or... we've got a big audience of people that have been to the Philippines or from the Philippines, but living in England yes. and vice versa. So, so tell us if you were surprised by any of these things, if you didn't think that would be the way it is. We should have mentioned rent as well, actually. Well, I don't think it's more expensive here. I think if, if you compared this to a capital city in England, London, not a, the capital city in England, yeah. London, it would be very similar. I but think if you compare- It's more expensive than our hometown yeah, but, and you would get a bigger size place. But you could say that about Manchester and London. It doesn't, you can't compare it okay. like that. And that's why rent was not in this video. Yes. But if you want us to make any more videos like this, any more topics, things to discuss, things we've noticed as British people in the Philippines, yeah. then do let us know in a comment. We'd I love to like read it. If I was a person moving to the Philippines or um, I don't know, a lot of people message us saying that they have work yeah, out totally. here. Uh, like foreigners come here because they've been given a work contract and they watch our videos because they've been told they're going to move to BGC. We've got a few people that have done that. So many people have commented I, that. I feel like this video could be quite helpful in that respect to kind of watch out for some prices and make sure you kind of do the right thing to get a better price. So yes. we hope this has been a helpful video for any of you guys. Definitely. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel if you are new around here and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.